think more to sell people and to be confident. Make more possibilities. Because horses are prey animals, the horse will automatically pick up our feelings. And it really works on being in the moment, being present together, and that's the beauty of the relationship. I am Lucy Davis. I am a member of the U.S. equestrian team. And in 2016, at the Rio Olympics, I helped the team bring home a silver medal in show jumping. It's in the first Olympics, but she's already ridden in three World Cup finals and was a world team bronze medalist in 2014. I've been riding since I could walk. Horses are a huge part of my family. My grandfather worked in horse racing, uh, so he introduced us to. Other than family, horses have been pretty much the only consistent thing in my life. Yep, this is it. Today we're in Long Island, New York at Palomine Equestrian Center, which is a therapeutic riding barn. I'm gonna shadow some of their lessons, learn a bit more about their programs, and hopefully watch their show tomorrow. First thing I'm gonna do is meet Lisa Gaddy, the founder of Palomine, and she and some of the students are gonna take me on a tour of the property. Hi, Lisa. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to Welcome meet to everyone. Palawine. Thank you. We thought that we would take you on a tour Perfect. of the property awesome. and the barn. Palawine Equestrian is a not-for-profit organization. We are a multifaceted equine center. This is our barn where, where we have our lessons. <laughs> We facilitate growth, learning, and healing, teaching uh, individuals with disabilities, both cognitive, uh, physical impairments, emotional disabilities, using a foundation of horses. So why don't we take Lucy in there? Okay. That's a really cool place to be. That's right? easy. That's easy. <laughs> Rainbow reins and pony reins and burden reins. Mm -hmm. This is the helmet. You, you come in and you get your helmet and rings and you put your, your helmet on for, for safety. So you guys only bring the horses in for grooming? Yes, and definitely. We groom them every day. Great. Hey, Tim, why don't we go in? This is the mini horses. They're uh, extremely cute. <laughs> what programs are the mini horses used for? So the mini horses are used for uh, kids with severe trauma. And this is exactly what we do. Is this the look. garden? Visit the, visit the garden. Can, Let's can take we a go closer in? look. OK, so the, Tim, is this your plot? Yep. That's my broccoli, my zucchini, eggplant, lettuce, peppers, basil, tomatoes. Horses are really a powerful force. Horses live in the moment and are present. Our students develop automatically that relationship. And it really becomes about the horse and the student at that given moment. Let's go find Shapa, Barrett. Who's Barrett riding? Barrett's riding Shapa. She's a half mm -hmm. Okay, so we concentrate. Barrett, look at Shapa. There you go. Mm. Barrett has been with Palomine since year 2000. He's 26 years old now. He has cerebral palsy. All right, ready to go get on? His core strength was very, very poor. He was only able to sit on the horse with his back rider for 15 minutes. All right, bud, you ready? All right, so the lift comes down, goes under his arms, under his legs. Nice and easy, Barrett. Because of the horse's movement, 
and to the improvement in his range of motion in his legs. His postural uh, control became stronger little by little. All right, let's go, Chapa. He was able to sit on the horse independently, and now he rides twice a week for 30 minutes. Okay, so we'll take a few more steps. The movement of the horse will help rearrange the nervous system going to the brain mm -hmm. and help create some balance. And as we move, it increases. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, think of someone that's non-ambulatory as, as Barrett. This gives him such an opportunity to use his body in a different way. Yeah. All right, are we ready to go? Yeah. Say, walk, please. Walk, please. We're doing hypotherapy today. My favorite horse is Ella because she is nice. She's pretty and fun. Emma, how long have you been riding for? Four years. Four years? Wow. How old are you? Six and a half. Nice. Emma is diagnosed with spinal muscular atrophy. <laughs> In hypotherapy, Emma is um, in a treatment session, and they're using Ella's movement to facilitate Emma's movement. Which ball would you like? The soccer ball. Dunk? Ooh, nice shot. We'll try it again. These kids, they're often inundated with therapy, in school, out of school, and they just come here. Emma is getting a treatment session by a licensed OT, but Emma's just having fun. You're gonna do it yourself? Go ahead. Pick up your leg. Thank you. There you go. Nice. There yeah. we go. Wow. If I can get it. Is that the She has hearts on her bridle. She has hearts on her bridle? Nice. Brian was diagnosed with epilepsy right from birth, and then a couple of years in, he had a stroke. Did I put this on right? That has affected his processing, and he had some challenges. Get all that hair out of the way. Make it look pretty. Any more than one-step directions were difficult for him. I like uh, Lucky, Ella, and Gigi. Being in the dressage arena for a kid like Brian, the patterns, the multi-step directions, that plays a big part for Brian to practice. And turn up your center line, and tap, and trot. Trot, trot, trot. Oh, I lost it. And just walk a nice big circle, OK? And then end back up at C. So how long have you and Brian been working together? Um, so we've been together for almost four years. When he started on LA, it was just me and him. Mm -hmm. And I would lead him around. And now he's completely independent. He's come a very long way in the last few years that he's been with me. You gotta make her... Continue trotting. Continue trotting, right? I'm Allison. I was training for the show. I was riding his cones. I was working on steering Ella. Ella has taught me that to be confident, to be independent, and, and to be patient. So tomorrow we're really just gonna Pay attention to that ring that we're in, right? Yep. And I don't even think you need me to read it to you, right? I remember it. You remember it. I loved seeing the different lessons and how everybody was working on kind of completely different missions. Being a horse person yourself, what'd you think of that sure hands lift and how tolerant the horses were? Because that always amazed me. I feel like people always see horses and they think they're so big and majestic and powerful, which they are, but they're also prey animals. So they're very sensitive and intuitive. And I feel that when I'm competing too, sometimes I'm sort of calming my horse. Sometimes I feel my horse kind of taking care of me and you can see that dynamic. And felt that today with the kids. Mm -hmm. Where is he under here? Got it. That's all the water. Good job. I'm very, very proud of you. You did a great job today. Thank you. Are you excited about tomorrow? Yep. Yeah? How do you guys run the shows? 
at Palomar? Uh, we usually have three shows a year. Um, tomorrow's show is a, a bit unique because we'll have two rings running at the same time, an Eck ring and a dressage ring. There'll be 33 riders That's that'll go. And I'm definitely excited for the show tomorrow. It's show day here at Palmine, and we're very excited to see how all of the horses and riders from yesterday do in their competition. Are you excited? Yeah. Are you nervous? Very excited. Very excited. Is this your first show? No, the second one I did. I got first, and this is my third. This is your third. <laughs> all right. Thank you. Have fun. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and pleasure to introduce to you this Palabine Mounted Grill Team. It's truly a labor of love for the horses and all else that they do here. These horses can do it all. From therapy to horse shows, these horses are at their very best. 2018, Brian. Riders who really desire to become athletes, they set goals, just like any one of us. And those goals are measurable. Next, move your horses up. And then riding becomes limitless. And that's the power of sport. Reverse at the wall. We have Barrett on Champa. All right, Barrett, good luck. Yes. How far has she come since she started riding here? Oh, her core, her balance, not only physically, but emotionally. She's gotten more confident. She just loves it. It just makes her happy. Beautiful <laughs> job, Emma. Emma, nice job. All hands in. Ready, one, two, three, woo! All right, you're being judged at the walk here. Nice and straight, straight. That's it, now turn left. There you go. Megan was actually pretty frightened in the beginning. She did not want to get on the horse first couple of times, but she pushed through and she becomes very proud of herself when she overcomes some of those challenges. All right, getting those leads. Everybody got their leads right. It's a super job, buddy. Thank you. Yeah, you come a long way. I remember when you started riding here. Yeah. You did a great job maintaining an immobile hop, and I really liked your use of corners. You did a great job. Thank you. Good job, Barrett. And in first place, number 102, Megan. On Shapa. Yes! <laughs> I see you, Megan. Thank you. Great job. And great job to all these riders. I love you, Mom. Love you, love you, Squeeze. <laughs> I love you too, Dad. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> Amazing. Woo! That's me, baby. <laughs> yeah! Our sport is so unique for many reasons, but most importantly, because you're working with an animal. Great job. Thank you. You're working towards a goal and you're competing. You sometimes lose sight of the reasons why, or the reason why you're here, and that's because we all love the horses. Yeah. Good no ride, guys. Yeah. Good ride. So the power of this sport is them, and that's what we saw working here at Palomine.